हिंदी सब के लिए इस बटन पर क्लिक करें फिर कैप्शंस पे जाके हिंदी का चयन करें When we look at prabandham what do we find we find that it is a composition of 4000 verses nal ayiram divya prabandham nal ayiram divya prabandham means that nal means four ayiram means thousand divya means uncomparable nothing can compare divya darshan you find this word is used a lot divya darshan that sight that the divine insight that divine sight is incomparable to anything even a word cannot express that feeling of emotion so likewise the alras have composed nala iram divya prabandham and when we look at this nala iram prabandham what do we find actually what do we understand by it what do we understand by why such a divya prabandham why such work was created by shriman narayana so as you know the last avatar of shriman narayana was krishna and krishna had planned many things he had set the tone for many things in dwapara yuga he had set the tone for so many antidotes that what the jiva will face what the individual will face in the time of kali yuga so paramatma sri krishna planned very well every action of every sankalpa every intention of him was planned with utmost detail so that it may be carried on into the next yuga for the dev- devotees to learn and understand and escape the cycle of maya so you find that when we look at the works of the arvas even this the sankalpa shriman narayana was thought out very carefully he knew there will be a time where the essence of bhakti will be lost the essence of life will be destroyed distorted diluted and we find that the story of the arvas incarnation of each aspect of the divine lord the shank the chakra the gatha the kaustubham the kridam each and every aspect the lord had made each and every ornament of his incarnate as an arva to remind the jeevas in the kaliyuga the essence of life the essence of why the jeevatma has entered this birth you find that when you look at the great lens that shriman narayana has went to ensure that each and every one of you return home geeta upadesh had happened even before that shri ramayana had happened so you see how the lord has been planning and planning and planning and what does it actually mean when somebody plans in advance for the well being of those who are dear to him what does it mean it's a very simple word it's a very simple word and it's a very beautiful word and if you understand this you understand the greatest philosophy of all anybody wants to try you all are so shy loosen up Loosen up, be free. <laughs> so we see from the Lord's actions, we see that all that He has done in Treta Yuga's Rama, all that He has done in Dwapar Yuga's Krishna, and all that He has done so far, 
this only shows you one word and that is love. The love that Narayana has for you. I won't use people, I won't use devotees, I won't use, I will use the individuality of you. Don't you see how the great Supreme Lord knew this position that you would be in? He'd know this path that you would walk and he would understand the problems and trials you would face. And through that understanding, when somebody wants to understand you, what is it actually? It's care, it's compassion, it's love for your well-being. Just like how the mother is like that towards the child, well-being of the child. As the father, as the family. But as the Jagan, uh, the Ishwara, the Jagannatha, He is the supreme, protecting, caring, worrying about your every thought, worrying about your every action.